Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Motorola Droid Bionic Touchscreen Digitizer and LCD Replacement Guide. You will need two tools to do this repair, a T5 screwdriver and a pry tool as well. To begin the disassembly of your Motorola Droid Bionic, first remove the battery back door cover. With the back housing removed, you can now remove the battery as well as SIM card from your phone. Next, using your Torx 5 screwdriver, you will need to remove the following screws from the back housing of your phone. Please make sure that all of these screws are removed, otherwise the back housing will not safely pry away from the phone. Next, using your Safe Open Pry tool, run it along the sides of the back housing to safely release all the clips holding your phone's back housing in place. Next, you will need to release the little battery sticker pull tab from the back of the phone. If needed, use a pair of tweezers to remove this. With the battery pull tab now removed, you can go ahead and safely release the back housing from your phone. It might give a little bit of resistance on the bottom left hand side. If so, please note that there is a little piece of adhesive on the back housing which is probably causing it to be held in. If you are receiving a lot of resistance, please double check and make sure that you remove all of the screws from the housing. Shown here is the adhesive I was referring to in the very last step. Now, with the back housing removed and the motherboard shown, you will need to go ahead and release the following three flex cables attached to your motherboard. The bottom cable is the LCD. The top two cables are your actual digitizer touchscreen cables. Be careful releasing these to not damage the board when you do so. Next, using your Torx 5 screwdriver once again, remove the two screws on the top of the phone. You might notice that a little piece of black plastic comes loose when you remove these two screws. Just note that this piece of plastic goes directly under these two screws and will need to be put back when you reassemble the phone. Next, you will need to release one additional flex cable as shown here. Once that cable is released, you can go ahead and release the camera from the housing of the back of the phone. Once the camera is released, you should be able to safely remove the motherboard from your phone.
Next, you will need to release the two digitizer flex cables on the back of the LCD. Please note that these are held in with adhesive, so they will and may require a little bit of force to be pulled up. Once these two cables are removed, you will need to release the LCD. Release the LCD from the back of the phone. If you are having a hard time, use your safe open pry tool, but be very gentle not to crack the LCD. Once the LCD is removed, you will have your touchscreen glass digitizer and the housing around it. To separate the glass from the housing, use a hot air heat gun and heat up the sides as well as top of the front of your touchscreen. If you do not have a heat gun, you can use a blow dryer. Once that is done and the adequate heat has been applied, you can take a safe open pry tool and run it along the sides of your glass touchscreen and housing. This will allow you to remove and replace the glass from your phone. If you need to watch a video of us removing the housing, we actually have a couple of videos including the Droid X and X2 where we have done this. Just search for them in our video history. For all your repair parts and tools, visit us at InjuredGadgets.com.